Hello, and welcome to the Cryptocurrency News Channel. Today we're going to talk about the FATF and everyone's favorite company, SBI, um, the company that has delayed the um, VC trade platform since 2017, mainly due to regulations, all bit. So they're going to comply with FATF crypto guidelines coming out from G20. I don't know if that means they will delay again. Um, they actually might delay again because we're about a week away from when it's finally when it's going to launch. A lot of people believe it's supposed to launch on the 7th and the 8th. So if it doesn't launch next week, um, at the beginning of next week, I'll have my doubts that it'll be delayed again. That wouldn't be a surprise because this will be like the fifth or sixth time that it's actually been delayed. But they're going to fully conf um, co conform to FATF which means the KYC AML guidelines. So any trade you do over $1,000 will be recorded and sent to the tax authorities and the governing authorities. You will not be able to get away with taxes if you trade with SBI VC. But you know, regulation like this is definitely needed for crypto to move forward. So SBI VC coin will comply with FATF guidelines on dealing with, with money laundering and terrorism. CEO of SBI Bits, a subsidiary of SBI Holdings, essentially explained the position at the Virtual Currency Summit V20. Notably, the summit is in Osaka, Japan. The goal of these guidelines is to effectively minimize fraudulent capital transfers using virtual currencies, but in my opinion, it's really to stop people from not paying taxes. Um, they tell you about what SBI and SBI VC is, why compliance is important, and KYC, uh, why KYC enforcement is important. When dealing with virtual currency, like traditional financial instruments, it is naturally necessary to comply with the rules of traditional financials. Uh, and then there's and then they like you know there's more strict regulations they're going to make exchanges like banks which means that every movement you do will actually be reported no chance of money laundering no chance of tax evasion so if you have that in your mind just get rid of it you're going to eventually have to pay taxes on all your cryptocurrency transactions but um this the, the important thing is since FATF just came out with of G20 like yesterday i think or last weekend or last week late last week um, this actually might lead to another delay in SBI VC trade, which honestly wouldn't be all that devastating because it's been delayed so many times that most people I've talked to actually expect another delay. I actually give it a higher chance of actually um, launching this time than before, but I think there is a lot of stuff actually, uh, some pricing elements riding on this launch. I actually do think XRP has gained against BTC and Satoshi the last few days. It's come up from like 3,400 3, to 3,900 3, now. Um, as Bitcoins fall on, XRP has not fallen as much, and usually that's not the case. And I do believe that the hype into VC trade has something to do with it. Now, it's gained about 10% against BTC over the last couple of days. So it's not dumping quite as hard. And I think a lot, a lot of investors, especially the Korean investors, are jumping onto this SB, uh, the VC trade hype train. And um, if it launches, it might actually gain even more against Bitcoin. Um, I think, I don't think SBI launching will push it past a dollar at, at its best. Um, so if I see like a 50, 60% increase, I'm definitely trading a lot of my stack and then buying back in later um, once it actually, uh, once the price actually gets lower. Um, if you're thinking about selling right now, you are taking a very big risk that SBI VC trade does push the price up. However, if VC trade fails to launch, I have a feeling that the Satoshi value is going to shrink back to 3,400, maybe even to 3,000. So if you don't trade right now, you could lose that gain. Right now, I'm definitely holding onto my XRP as we go into July because I think there is a decent chance at least that VC trade is going to launch. Looking forward to maybe to balloon to 6,000 uh, 6,000 Satoshi again, and at that point, I will be feel a lot more confident in selling my XRP for BTC to buy back later for a um, lesser price, because that would almost make me double my XRP holdings, and I'm not going to let that chance go. SBI, for all it is, um, it is a large bank institution supported exchange, but it's just another exchange at this point. It will give more liquidity into the Japanese market, but I don't really think it'll blink and go to $10 like some people online have been saying. By the way, Skatao didn't actually say that. He just retweeted someone. So I'm pretty sure like there's other people managing Katao's Twitter account. So the whole blinking to $10 thing, probably not something you should really, um, really be all that big on. 
So right now, I do believe that VC trade is kind of floating XRP's price above 40 cents, even as BTC continues to drop, because BTC has XRP has gained a little more than 10% against BTC. Um, I don't know if this will drop or not. I, I myself am betting, maybe foolishly, on the fact that XSBI will actually launch this time and push this ratio even higher. Once that happens, I will sell out and try to buy back in later at a lower price. So SBI uh, VC, hoping it launches, and it is floating the price up. If it doesn't launch, it's delayed again. I'm guessing price will probably go down again uh, in terms of Satoshi value because XRP has been bleeding Satoshi value, and there doesn't seem to be an end unless something like this actually happens. So that's my view on it. Um, that's I just wanted to say that I just wanted to report the FATF stuff with SBI VC, how that might affect price, why I'm holding on to my XRP right now, so you can make the best decision whether to hold or sell your BTC if you are a swing trader. If you're a holder, then just hold on to it. But if you are a swing trader, you want to take profits. This is a crucial decision time. I'm holding on to it for right now, but there is incentive to actually sell right now because the BTC ratio has gone up. Um, and if VC trade has some kind of delay in the news and uh, delay in the news that resistance might break and we might actually sell down, to 3,400, even 3,000, and that is around 15, 20% gain that you are giving up if you do not sell right now. But I think the risk is too great that SBI does launch this time, and you're risking much greater gains uh, for that 15, 20% gain that you would if SBI does not launch. So uh, that's my view on it. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you, and have a nice day.